Nope. Hey guys, I'm Brian, and today we're going to simulate an in-flight fire, and I'm going to show you some different methods you can use to put the fire out if you should have one. So I've got a couple of gas cans here. What I'm going to do is we're going to take off. I'm going to pour a little bit of fuel around the inside of the plane. We're going to set it on fire. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to test a handful of different fire extinguishers. i got four or five different types. We'll see which one is the most effective at putting out an in-flight fire. Oh, looks like the uh, field just went IFR. I'm going to have to find another way to do this. Hey guys, uh, as I mentioned in the intro, today I'm going to be talking about in-flight fires. And as you probably know, the number one reason uh, for an in-flight fire is a birthday party in the back of the plane gone awry. That's right. You're flying along, everything's great, and then you have to bank to avoid hitting a duck. And then what happens? That's right. Mom drops the birthday cake all over the back of the airplane. It's not her fault. She's got an iron deficiency leading to low grip strength, and so she can't hang on to the cake. Don't get mad at mom. But now you get two problems. Number one, you got frosting all over the back of the plane. Number two, you got an in-flight fire. Well, that's where these people come in. H3R Aviation, they make fire extinguishers for our aircraft to keep us safe uh, when these birthday party mishaps happen. Uh, first thing I want to say is this company is not paying me. Uh, they simply reached out to me and asked if I'd be willing to demonstrate their product uh, in a video. And I said, uh, I'm happy to do that. And primarily, I decided to do that to see if I could make an entertaining video about a fire extinguisher. Uh, so we'll see if I can do that. Two other companies out there uh, that might be interested in asking me to demo their products. I, I would love to demonstrate like a brand new autopilot or some paint, some interior. The list is a long list. Uh, you know, just call me. The other thing that's important to note why we would choose this uh, fire extinguisher over an old school one is the old fire extinguisher that spray all that dust and powder that's got a lot of asbestos in it and it causes mesothelioma and uh, migraines. You don't want that. This is a halon based fire extinguisher and specifically it's a naturally occurring organic vegan free range halon. Um, it's picked by children with really good intentions from a naturally occurring halon spring in the Ozark Mountains. Um, so it's good stuff, no animal testing, no artificial sweeteners. So if you spray this in your plane, the kids in the back having the party are still going to be able to drink their sodas and eat their cookies. If you use the other one, they're going to they're gonna get the chemicals from that. Let's just go test the fire extinguisher. I, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so what are we doing today? I'll be honest with you. This company, H3R Aviation, asked me if I'd be willing to test one of their fire extinguishers in a video. And I said, I'll agree to do it on two conditions. The first condition, I said it has to be an absolutely accurate, 100% perfect simulation so we know exactly how this is going to behave on a real in-flight fire. So in order to meet that requirement, what I've done <clears throat> is I got all these airplanes and I've soaked them in airplane fuel and I'm going to set them on fire. And then I'm going to use their fire extinguisher to try to put the aircraft fire out. And then I'm going to use a handful of these other brands of fire extinguishers that I found on Amazon, and we're going to find out which fire extinguisher actually works the best at putting out a real in-flight fire. Just so you know that this is as real as we can get, I'm going to show you what I've got here with these airplanes. So these four right here represent RVs because, as you know, an RV can't actually fly unless it has two other RVs six feet away from it. So, uh, And they're also made of wood, so this could be representative of a Belanca, like a Viking or a is it a cruise master? So uh, these are going to be pretty good representations of any wooden airplanes or any planes that simultaneously have in-flight fires during some sort of formation flight. Now, in addition to that, I've got uh, a V-tail here because uh, bonanzas are very flammable. And so we want to find out how to put out a fire in a bonanza. Um, and you know these are plastic. So they're sort of representative of like your diamond aircraft. And of course, we have a uh, Cirrus representative. It's representative. With that out of the way, what do you say we set some stuff on fire? Fire! Fire! <laughs> One more disclaimer, uh, they did give me two of these fire extinguishers. One I'm legally allowed to use in demonstrations and one I'm only legally allowed to use in an aircraft. 
or a submarine as it turns out in an actual fire situation. This is Diet Halon uh, and it's, uh, it's safe to be used for demonstration purposes. So don't call the EPA on me. Uh, this one's going on the plane. Uh, we're gonna have fun with this one. All right, so we got a pretty good fire here. We got a disaster. We got to get the flames out and then we got to get the plane landed. I'm going to use this, uh, this generic Aquanet one. Nope. So on that one, I'm going to say, I mean the fire's smaller now, but I think that's because the plane has gotten smaller. Um, I don't necessarily think that was a successful one, but uh, we got a couple more to try. So uh, let's move on to the next one. Let's try this fire extinguisher. Yeah, that one works better than the um, the Aquanet, so uh, just blowing on it. So that's one thing. So if this is the fire extinguisher you have in your plane and your plane catches on fire, first just try blowing on the flames. All right, we're gonna try the generic fire extinguisher. All right, this is the one that just says we wanna just put it on the actual flames themselves. I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, Okay, it seems like the, the chemical that came out of it's actually just burning. That one's, uh, I don't know what that stuff is, but I like it. I will say this, of the two fires, this one smells the best. All right, next let's do the bananas. You know what? I don't think I want to burn plastic in my garage. We got more of these. Now I'm gonna try the little generic fire extinguisher. All right, I'm just supposed to point this at the flame and push the button on top. <laughs> Obviously that was an air horn. It turns out the chemical that comes out of the air horn is really flammable. Uh, let's say it didn't work. Uh, it didn't work and it hurt my ears. All right, so now I guess it's time to try the real one. Um, I don't know much about the chemical that's in here. <clears throat> I know this mask isn't really designed for that. But I want it to look like I take safety semi-serious. And I think uh, this makes it look like I take safety semi-serious. All right, that's pretty incredible. I mean, like that. Um, I'm gonna go put a fire uh, in the fireplace or in my grill or something. I need to grill because it's outdoors and just see what it does with a bigger, a bigger fire. So let's say you fly a modern airplane like one of the newer Cirruses that has a gas burning fireplace. Um, let's see what it does. All right, let's say you fly an older plane that's got an old uh, wood burning fireplace in it. All right, I gotta do more of this, this is fun. All right, so I ran out of airplanes, so now I just got a bucket full of paper and grease and fuel and just a mishmash of really fun, flammable things. And we're going to try a couple of more just because I'm having fun. All right, so my final thoughts on this thing are uh, basically it, it works. Uh, the biggest surprise, I think, I kind of anticipated that I'd have to sort of uh, spray the fire a lot longer to get it put out. I did not realize it was gonna be like that. Um, I've been reading up on Halon, and there's a lot of people that say, and I thought this too, I thought Halon like removed the oxygen um, from the fire so it couldn't burn. Um, turns out you've probably seen the fire triangle where in order to have a fire, you've gotta have oxygen, fuel, and a combustion source. Um, this doesn't actually remove the oxygen. It actually chemically reacts with that whole process and prevents it from happening. Not that it matters, um, but it puts the fire out. It does a good job. Um, my only experience with fire extinguishers is um, very, very limited. When I was 13, I snuck out of my friend Ryan's house um, and he found a boat in someone's driveway that had a fire extinguisher in it. And I was like, Ryan, we probably shouldn't do that. That's not a good idea. He took the fire extinguisher out. And then I was like, I bet it'd look cool if we ran down the street with a smoke trail behind us from the fire. If, if you lived in Carrollton in the early 90s and one day your boat didn't have a fire, I'll give you Ryan's contact information. I, I tried to stop him. Um, no, 
So anyway, um, obviously it's very effective. Uh, if you don't have one in your plane, clearly if you have a fire in your plane, I think it's gonna put it out no problem at all. Um, it comes with a mounting bracket, it's like a quick release thing. Um, and so it just pops off so you can use it. Um, I guess there's different ways to mount it in the plane. I'm gonna have uh, a mechanic uh, mount mine. Most people I think mount them under the seat so they can just reach down and grab them. If you're a moron, you could just tape it to your leg. I uh, hear that's one way to mount it. But all in all, pretty good little fire extinguisher. And one of the other benefits I was reading up on is it's considered a clean agent. It does come out in kind of like a liquid form, but it evaporates really fast. It doesn't leave any residue. So my understanding is it's not going to hurt any electronics or cause any problems with your avionics. That If there's a fire in your plane, really the, the least of your concerns is, is the plane going to be reusable and all that stuff. But um, from what I can tell, spraying this in your plane is not going to do any more damage than the fire is. So um, I'm really, really excited to be putting this in my plane. Uh, thank you, H3R, for uh, providing this to me and letting me uh, test one. Um, and if you guys don't have one, go check out their website. They've got a whole variety of these things. Some are for planes, some are for cars. They're sort of uh, all different uh, varieties of fire extinguishers that they sell on their website. Um, anyway, pretty cool. Go check them out. Thanks for watching, guys. So another one of these fire extinguishers that I hadn't had a chance to test yet was this one here. It's just actually called Fire Power. Um, it actually just says here on the side, you own a plane, you're used to throwing muddy at problems, give it a shot. Um, and so I'm going to see what this does. I don't know really what that means, but... Um I feel like it's actually making the problem a little bit worse. Um, but somehow it does just feel right as a plane owner. So as it turns out, my daughter has expressed interest in becoming a pilot. So today I'm giving her first lesson. Let's find out if she can handle it. You wanna see a magic trick? I can make money disappear. So the cool thing about these guys' fire extinguisher is it's a Halon fire extinguisher, and this is a free-range organic vegan Halon. Um, it's picked by children with good intentions in a naturally occurring Halon. You should write this stuff down. Um, it's got no artificial sweeteners, and it's picked by children with good intentions in the Ozarks in a naturally occurring hair. Ah! <laughs> of all the fire suppression agents, uh, this is definitely the one I find tastes the best uh, on a cracker. Um, it's probably also the most dangerous one to ingest, but oh well. Click this link to see the most recent video upload. Click this link to see a video that YouTube thinks you might like. Click this link to subscribe to my channel.